Hi folks, my name is Umkar Jagdari and I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan. And today I'm going to talk to you about PhD programs in USA and some of the disadvantages and advantages of doing a PhD in US. So before we get started, I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up to the video. It allows me to reach out to more people just like you. So let's jump into the topic. Before I say anything, I just want to let you know, I do not have a PhD in, um, PhD in US. So um, if you think maybe I'm not qualified to give you knowledge on this, so you don't have to listen to me, that's totally fine. But uh, but I, I do have some thoughts about if you should do your PhD in US or should not. So let's talk about that. Number one, how long does the PhD take? So a normal PhD program in US will take about four and a half to five years if you haven't done your master's in US. So that's the number one thing. So along this period of time, um, the biggest advantage I see for a PhD in America is your education in US is going to be free. Most PhD programs are fully sponsored and they also pay you a tuition um, or a stipend towards your program. So every month you'll make about $1,500 to $2,000 towards your living expenses. Um, you should be able to do much well with that money. So if you have financial issues that don't allow you to come to US and pay for your masters or you don't have enough money to take loans, I think PhD is a great idea because you will be basically compensated for your entire five years of studies. Now, similarly, other advantage I see in that is with your green card application. Now, here's what my thought process is if you have a PhD in US. So there is something called an EBUN category. So if your PhD program and the work you have done qualifies you for this EB1 category, you don't have to go through something called a PERM application and that allows you to get your green card much faster. Also, the amount of time you have to wait for green card is usually lesser compared to EB2 category, EB3 category people who are applying for green card. So I see this as one of the biggest advantage of doing a PhD, but understand one thing, not all PhDs qualify for this program. So do your research on that. Now, income. So here's what I know about, let's talk about a little bit about incomes when you graduate with a PhD. So to be honest, from my experience, I have not seen PhD candidates make significantly more income than masters or undergrad students. Um, now, that may be my experience. So for example, I had an undergrad degree and I had two years of experience when I started with my company. And I know a PhD candidate who had just graduated and started working at my company, we had the same salaries as our starting salaries. So if you think about it, if that person did all this song and dance for four to five years and they're getting the same income as I am with only a two years of experience after my bachelor's, then then something is missing, you know, some the, the, point, the dots don't connect. So the way I look at it is I feel that maybe there is not a significant amount of advantage of doing a PhD towards your income. Now, if you're passionate about learning, if you're passionate about studying, this may be a great program for you. So understand one thing also, the thing about PhD is it's very academic intensive. So basically you'll be writing a lot of papers, you'll be doing a lot of academic research, you will also be taking some classes towards your master's program. Um, some of the classes from master's program, you will be taking them, you'll be studying them with other master's programs. So it's a combination of class from master's and PhD. So do understand that. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages I see personally, okay, and this is my opinion, towards a PhD program. Now, number one I see is if I was to do, let's say, a master's program instead of a PhD, I'll do for two years, I'll graduate in two years, and I'll, I'll have, by the time someone is finishing up their PhD, I will have three years of experience, so total five. If you see, first of all, you're making three years of income. Not only that, by the time you have three years of experience, you also have more income, you're earning more income from your job. So I feel you are any day going to beat someone graduating with a PhD, and by the time you have three years of experience in your master's. So. Another thing I really see as a disadvantage of PhD is sometimes, um, this is not always, but sometimes when you apply for positions, when you interview for some jobs, 
you will hear something called you're too qualified for this position you'll interview and they'll give you a rejection saying you're too qualified for this position now this is something i don't agree with personally but i know there are a lot of companies who feel that way they feel maybe you're too qualified and you may get this job and you might get bored at it and eventually leave the job so that is a valid concern for these companies and they may feel that they might not be able to challenge you with the work they have so do consider this before doing a phd that you may lose opportunities to go to jobs which do not challenge as much another thing i really see as one of the biggest um, disadvantage of doing a phd degree is over a master's degree is first of all here's the thing if you do a master's degree and you will get three years of stem um, you get one year of stem and you get two years of stem opt so let's say you get three years of opt time if you use this and for some reason you don't get your h1b selected at the end of the three years you can do a phd and get another three years of stem so that's what happens so whenever you don't get your uh, h1b you can jump to a next degree and do that now with phd what happens if you don't get that you'll have to go for a postdoc now depending upon your postdoc it may be another four to five years um, not sure how what kind of opportunities you have in postdoc you have to understand what kind of postdoc degree you will be doing so it's a lot of research involved in that but here's the thing you may also get another so once you do your postdoc you might also get three years of opd time but this all depends upon if you really want to do your postdoc do you really want to go that deep into your subject for example civil engineering i don't know a lot of people who do postdoc in civil engineering if you are in medical field that may seem possible i have friends who have done cancer research and they're doing postdoc in that but that's totally different medical is totally different than the normal um, engineering and science degrees i think that's what i had for you if you have any questions put in the comment section you can connect with me on my instagram at omkar um, otherwise i had great time talking to you i'll see you in the next video bye